Uh, greetings, Taurus, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. Uh, this is a timeless reading for you, Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And my name is Ingrid, and let's dive right in together and see what the cards have for you that you need to know today, Taurus. And thank you, Spirit Guides, for overseeing this reading uh, for uh, the Taurus Collective. And I just wanted to thank all of you Tauruses out there. I really appreciate all of your support. And uh, I'm hoping that this resonates for you today. And this is what we begin with. Will you come into the reading with the energy of the Page of Wands, where you're taking something out boldly right now. You're going on an adventure. You're ready to uh, travel out there to turn this desert into a garden. Uh, there is something that you're ready to build with this energy. Uh, and it's, uh, you're ready to travel and to explore. And look at the way that uh, this dapper looking a page of wands is ready to step out into a new adventure. And so that could be relating uh, to you, Taurus, at this time. Uh, and it's coming because you've got the Knight of Cups. Well, there is a love offer uh, coming in. And it's um, you're looking to the future, both uh, the page and the Knight of Cups. And as you uh, take that fiery energy boldly out, you see how this landscape has the water and things are coming into uh, this feeling function of how you're boldly moving out. You're having this a sense of an invitation uh, to go somewhere, to go somewhere where you're gonna feel this love supporting you now, Taurus. And that's gonna be very important to you at this time. And it's coming because you are uh, finding uh, that you need to move out. That's what your passion is telling you at this time. And so whenever you come upon this reading, Taurus, you're ready uh, to move forward uh, and your mind is clear about it because your heart is balanced. You've got this clean, uh, pure water uh, resonating in your cup now and you're gonna receive this. And at the foundation, uh, there is a decision uh, to be made, and you are sitting uh, crossed armed and blindfolded. There is, at the deep root, uh, maybe a feeling in your mind at this time, Taurus, that you don't know exactly uh, how to uh, make this decision about what this page is bringing you, this young energy that wants to go out and is very curious and wants to bring in a message. And the message is coming in with a love offer, a new way of loving, something you really love to do and you're fired up about, uh, a Taurus. But you're at a crossroads deeply at the foundation because you are uh, needing to go inward at this time to make the right decision about where you're going boldly, what you want to receive in this cup that is being offered to you. But if you take your blindfold off and just turn behind you, you see there's really a kind of like asphalt or concrete uh, here, but there are these potential islands behind you of new possibilities to explore. And you will need to make a decision and you will make it, uh, it's coming. And it's, uh, there is a queen of cups, so you go from the knight of cups to the queen of cups. In your recent past, a Taurus, there was a lot of love, a lot of a deep feeling um, about a decision that you need to make. And you are uh, looking very much at your cup. Uh, the queen has this cup that is, has a, a lid on it, a top, because she's very contained in how she expresses her emotion. And... Uh, but she is able to nurture her emotions because she lives at the water's edge, having, having one foot right there in the water. So you could be in the recent past having had some very deep feelings um, that you were nurturing, um, a deep listening, maybe seeing a counselor or you could have been a counselor. But sharing these emotions, a Taurus has been very important because uh, it's time to recognize that you've been carrying this heavy burden. You go from the 10 uh, to the page. So there's a progression of moving 
to this end. You come to completion. You're almost there. And as you do that, it's going to instigate you to take this out into a whole new uh, reality uh, and to let go of anything that you feel like you are shouldering too much of the weight, um, or shouldering too much of the burden, and to make a decision about how you're going to handle that. And what's coming in now is the Seven of Swords. Well, this is a card of strategy. Um, and because it's a yellow card, all of the yellow cards in the deck are optimistic. Even though this has the reputation of being the card of lying, uh, stealing, and cheating in your uh, experience or around you or with the people you're dealing with or maybe even a Taurus with your own uh, energies because you need to uh, protect yourself. You need to uh, have a strategy with particular tactics, the moves you're going to make. Uh, like a chess game, you want to keep your moves to yourself and keep uh, whatever this uh, energy that you've been feeling a lot of love about, this new possibility, this decision about releasing some uh, heavy burden, uh, obligation, or responsibility, uh, so you can maybe make a better decision and uh, get the upper hand uh, so you can move forward. Uh, you don't want to tell people what you are doing in terms of uh, maybe this decision about moving boldly towards some new love that is very deep for you. And it's coming with the Knight of Swords. Well, there are a lot of uh, court cards, uh, which means these are actual uh, potentially people, Taurus, that are involved with you at this time. But there is this energy, and the Knight of Swords is looking back uh, to the Page of Wands and to the Knight of Cups and to the Queen of Cups, looking with this new uh, energy that's almost like a crusader, uh, going for the truth about what it is that the Seven of uh, Swords is having to manage uh, this uh, diplomacy, uh, being very careful how you communicate. And now with this uh, Knight of Swords, it's almost like saying you're ready, you're coming in, you're bursting forward. Look at the movement of uh, this uh, Knight on this horse. It's just jumping uh, into the card. And that is how you're thinking about this adventure, this uh, excitement of moving forward, this curiosity about this new love offer that you need to make a decision on. And it's coming... With the environment is the moon. Uh, this is the energy of a cancer energy. And you are evolving. You're feeling this evolution um, influencing you from your environment, Taurus. And it's uh, saying you're coming out of the unconscious. You're bringing something out of your intuition, out of a dream, moving toward this path. Uh, but you're going to have to navigate uh, these uh energies of the more tamed dog and the more wild, undomesticated uh, wolf. And so these are these instinctual energies and the two pillars. You're following this path toward uh, this new journey and you're going for it really quickly, but you're keeping um, the information private or to yourself uh, because you might feel like in the recent past, uh, you had that deep feeling from the Queen of Cups and you've nurtured this. Uh, you've been uh, supported perhaps by uh, a person who listens deeply to you. <clears throat> it's very understanding, uh, sympathetic, sympathetic uh, to whatever you are sharing. But you're needing to break out. There are two cards here with the blindfolds, Taurus. Um, so that is saying... That if there is a situation in your mind where you have to deal with this decision, uh, this is of the air. You also have to see that it's time to take your blindfold off and see you're not really that trapped. You have your castle right here behind you and the waters are shallow. So you're moving forward out of any a sense of bondage where somebody is interfering with you from the environment. And the moon could be saying that the environment is not 
um, could be very deceptive or in the moonlight we can't see clearly what the environment is offering us, what the terrain is um, under the moonlight. And so it could be uh, causing uh, some apprehension, uh, some uncertainty, uh, some feeling of being um, imprisoned or isolated in your own mind. But you're going to move out of uh, feeling that uh, overthinking, um, worrying, uh, because what is coming is uh, this energy of the Two of Cups. Well, a partnership is coming uh, that is going to help you release any kind of feeling of being infringed upon by others or letting your mind take over in a somewhat negative way by overthinking, self-sabotaging. Uh, but you're going to look to uh, this, um, this partnership, a potential union. Uh, that is the advice, is to look into this partnership. Uh, so that is what I have as we come into this timeless reading. And you're going to release uh, any sense of um, heartbreak, of defeat, of betrayal, of trauma in, that had to do with a partnership from uh, the past. And you're letting that go. Uh, so you can release any kind of um, feeling of self-sabotage, of uh, entrapment. Um, interference in a relationship and it's you need to get clarity around this and you will um so let us get some clarity uh, uh, for my uh, taurus uh, what is it that the a uh, page of wands this bold young energy that's very curious and uh, studying and bringing in some message for you around love what is this on um, needing to know for you taurus well, it's going to bring you the Ace of Cups. Well, whatever this is, is bringing you the Ace of Cups of the devil and uh, the feeling of justice. So this is Libra, Capricorn energy. And then you've got the water sign. So Taurus, this is uh, <clears throat> inferring that there is justice coming, a truth, balance around uh, your heart, around this uh, gift that's coming from the spirit, um, from uh, this divine uh, uh, offering of the, uh, this is a holy love. This is about your soul, uh, your love deeply. And that's what you're maybe boldly wanting to go after, a new kind of love. And this is a new love that is um, going to uh, have to uh, challenge any kind of toxicity any kind of entrapment in a relationship that is based on seduction or just on uh, the material world. This is Capricorn. Uh, this is Saturn. Uh, and the devil has both a positive Saturn energy, um, but also that more entrapping. And you're coming into balance, both with your mind and your feelings, about what this uh, love potential is offering you in this new beginning. And it's coming because uh, you are going to take it out there. This is the energy around you right now. You want to explore. You're curious. You're learning. And you're learning also about your intuition and where you want to go. You're just going to make a move. And you're making a move toward this love offer. And it's coming because why is the um, uh, two of swords, what is it you're trying to decide? What are you thinking about in terms of this a queen of cups from the recent past. Well, you've got this queen of pentacles. You're needing to make a decision on how to nurture your money, on how to grow your wealth, or what you're working on with a lot of generosity, but you're very productive. And you're making a decision on how you can best sit on that throne of wealth uh, and to uh, also have a lot of deep feelings um, that come with... <clears throat> releasing any a situation that was a nightmare in the past about your emotions, about what you deeply felt. This is a card where she's very much involved with her feelings and uh, her dreams, her intuition. And you have had in the recent past an intuition about why you've been having this nightmare, what you're worrying about. 
and what it is that is coming is that you've been worrying about this burden, something that you're carrying, an energetic burden, a passionate burden, an obligation, um, a, a load that has been uh, structurally uh, holding you back because of the amount of weight it's put on you. And that could be something you've been worrying about. Maybe worrying about another person, uh, having some anxiety about what you deeply feel. Uh, and it's coming because of this sense of change, adaptability, uh, flexibility, moving um, with this infinite um, energy of the ups and downs of life. You see the waves here and you're able to do that because you're going to uh, have to look at any kind of burden, any kind of heavy load from fighting uh, or from having to be very adaptable. Uh, uh, take money from here and work here. Uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, compli complications here in terms of how uh, whatever it is you're working on, you could be feeling like you're in a mode of winning and losing, of victim victimizing, and that's causing a heavy burden that you've been having to juggle and balance um, as you're trying to make this a decision about what you want to do. This is a Taurus energy with this queen of uh, pentacles, how you want to nurture your physical world, your body, uh, your uh, investments. And it's coming because you are looking at the seven of a swords. That is a card of strategy. Uh, you're needing to have an idea now after putting this burden down and letting go of anything that you know is not worth the fight and the, the uh, adaptability because you're needing to get this information out. Uh, from the Knight of Swords, uh, and it's coming because of the lovers and the hermit. This is Gemini and then Virgo energy, and then the Nine of Cups. Well, I had done your reading for this week, um, but this is a general reading where you had the Nine of Cups uh, and the lovers. So there is something about getting uh, introspection on what it is that's going to really make you happy in a partnership. Uh, and that is coming with this sense of having to also um, wish on a star, put your uh, what you want out there. And this could be a wish come true uh, in a relationship that maybe has to do with a, a Virgo or Gemini energy. And you're going to uh, move forward uh, and the environment is offering you the moon because uh, there is something about uh, needing to get clarity from your environment and you're waiting. Uh, maybe things are fluctuating and it's not a good time to make a decision when you come upon this reading because you're going to need to take this new opportunity and to start small and to really take whatever this is uh, and grow it with that help of the Queen of Pentacles. And you are coming out of this um, isolation, out of a feeling of infringement or feeling alone, uh, kind of blindfolded, tangled up in your own thoughts because you are uh, going to stand your ground and know it's worth it. You're standing up for yourself, a Taurus, at this time. And there's a lot of competition, but you've gotten uh, a lot of ground behind you and in front of you. You are defending your position. And it's coming because there is something about this partnership that you are going to have to come to the end of the way you have thought. Something about a union that has, uh, in a certain way, uh, uh, severed that connection with your chakras. So the crown energy uh, is not flowing uh, properly into this relationship. And when uh, you are able to uh, break through that, you will be able to let go of anything that's holding you back because you've been maybe being very defensive about how you've been thinking. And you're going to change that because you're getting a new opportunity to see clearly um, this
new opportunity with uh, the moon, with something that is coming out of your psychic abilities, your intuition, a dream. And you're going to take that a little seed and grow it. And it's coming in quickly with a lot of communication around what is going to make you feel satisfied, happy, connected uh, with your own truth, your inner knowing, but also with a joining of a partnership that's going to make you very fulfilled. And uh, to move into that energy at this time, a Taurus. And let's get one more card to summarize this Knight of Cups uh, with the uh, Page of Wands and the Ace of Cups. What is this um, coming in? This is the offer you're receiving. And it's going to come because you are uh, looking in boldly to any energy that is entrapping you. Because this is also a card of entrapment. And you're going to uh, be curious about it, get information, uh, move forward uh, to this uh, way of loving and to receive this. It's a new kind of love, Taurus. It might be something because we've got the nine of swords and then the ten because you might be uh, overthinking things or letting your mind uh, go wild around this. Uh, but it will bring in this uh, new union. Once you release any a sense of um, emotional uh, difficulty around uh, letting go of a worry, depression, defeat, uh, a betrayal. And that is coming to an end now. And it will bring in this new love offer. And you've got uh, the uh, lovers as well. And this fulfillment. So work with all of these waters. Purify your waters. Uh, and make this connection first within your own inner joining. Uh, so this union will bring in a new kind of love for you. And uh, that is what I have uh, for you today, Taurus. Uh, a very interesting reading. And if it resonates, I'd love to hear how this uh, a love offer is fulfilling you, uh, bringing you to a whole new uh, platform where you're going to use your inner knowing at this time to follow that star. And so it is, and sending you so much love. And uh, thank you again, Taurus, for all of your comments and support and uh, likes. And subscribe if you haven't already. And wherever this finds you, it's meant for you. And see you next time. Bye-bye.